Uh, hello from Volta Consolar. In this video, I'm going to explain how to connect in parallel two conversal 5 kW inverters in a single phase mode. The same procedure applies even for a three phase system. Uh, the most important thing we have to remember is that in a parallel mode, when you set up for first time, the AC output of the inverters must be switched off. That means we operate only in standby mode. The button here shouldn't be switched on. It's extremely important to follow this procedure. It has to be off. The right way to set it up is to use an AC input from the grid or the generator. If you don't have any of those, then you can use the battery or the solar panels to power up uh, a single inverter at a time. So, let's start the procedure. This is our inverter number one. We will switch it on. The inverter number two is off. In this case, we have uh, uh, the AC grid connected to the input of the inverter. The output is off. Yeah, switched off. So there is no output. We enter menu 28. and we select PAL. Other options are available if you have a, a three-phase system. SIG is a single mode with a single inverter and no parallel connection. So if we select PAL, we go back and now we see the symbol HS flashing. That means it's the master inverter. We switch it off and we move now to inverter number two. AC output is off. That's our standby mode. We power up again inverter number two from the mains. The same menu, 28. PAL, we enter PAL, that's the parallel mode. And now we can safely switch on both inverters at the same time. The screen on one inverter will be HS, that means master, and the second inverter will be SL, the slave inverter, the secondary inverter. For first time, we can switch on even the output. So, there's the output A and output B. So, we have now uh, 10 kilowatt AC output in single phase mode, two conversal inverters running together and talking to each other using the parallel communication kit. If you don't follow this procedure, there is high risk to damage the inverter because they don't know how to share the current until they are set into a parallel mode. I need to say again that the AC output must be uh, remained off during the paralleling process. Thank you very much for watching this video.